All right, Chris Miles, first down in the cage. And if you notice, he's being accompanied by Team Jukow. Originally, he was supposed to fight Bob. former USMTA champion Bob Buskey. And Bob Buskey talked a lot of garbage to Chris Miles, and now it seems as if they've kind of joined forces. That's the way things happen. So again, Chris Miles, super heavyweight champion, USMTA. He's going to fight Jeremy Wolfork for the Cage Wars heavyweight title. So again, heavyweight is 206 to 264.9, super heavyweight 265 plus. Chris Miles cut approximately 60 pounds for this fight. Oh my God. Over the course of two months. That is crazy. It is, but I again, mean, a high school wrestling coach, you know. It's good for him. I mean, it's good health wise. But I just wonder if it's going to hurt his gas tank a little bit. It might. He might rely a lot on wrestling here. Now in his corner, you see Al Morrow as well as Gerald Wicks. Gerald Wicks was supposed to have a card, a fight on the card, that extremely large man that looks like a bear. Um, his opponent actually pulled out. We were looking forward to seeing him on the super heavyweight card. Chris Miles looks very ready. Yeah, he looks focused. He looks he, like he's in a lot better shape than last time because, again, now at the heavyweight division, he's he's dropped quite a bit of weight. Let's see how much better he's going to move right now. I mean, he's got an undefeated record, so what he's been doing has been working just fine for him. But, again, I don't think we've seen something here like Jeremy Wolfork. Really? The wrestling ability, the hands, the general athleticism, the ability to come back after being rocked. Okay. You know, he's been rocked a few different times, and he just he goes in for that blast double and just goes into his instincts and reflexes. Here we go. Comes his opponent. Jeremy Wolfork, really nice guy, really cool guy. He comes down to this music where it's just chill and laid back, you know, and, and then he gets in there and just gets violent. It's great. He looks like a big boy, dude. Oh, he is. I haven't seen him up front yet, but. Short guy, but big, strong, stocky guy. Strike zone MMA product. Very confident and calm, walking to the cage. You know, he almost looks a little bit like Daniel Cormier. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, dude. You know, and he's kind of got that same thing going on. Multiple divisions, you know, heavyweight, super heavy. Oh, there's a wrestling tattoo. Oh, yeah, he's got it. Heavy wrestling pedigree in this young man. Oh, it should be a nice matchup here. Chris Miles in great shape, though. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. His coach giving him his last few words. Ed Kinner, executive director of USMTA, making sure there's not excessive ointment on the face, actually applying a little bit more. This should be a good scrap, guys. I hope you're ready. Two well-rounded heavyweights. You usually don't get well-rounded heavyweights. And I don't think it's going to go three rounds. So no. I, I wouldn't move. I wouldn't go to the bathroom. I wouldn't get food. Good, because I got to do all of them. I nah. need food and go to the bathroom. Oh, I'm more talking to people at home, even. <laughs> I'm like, don't go to the kitchen. Send your son, send your daughter, send a smart dog to get something. Don't, don't move. Here we go. Jeremy always comes in just so calm. He yeah. always does the same thing. He looks away from his opponent. He looks to his corner. You know, it, it's almost the same thing. It's just, it's, it's like another day at the office. I keep they're, saying it. Up almost. to Mike Falvo. And good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Rivers Casino and Resort here in Schenectady, New York. This is our main event of the evening, and it is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Super Heavyweight Division. This bout is brought to you by KTorsNY.com. And presented by County Waste and Recycling, Jewels Design Studio, Sticker Mule, Elevation 10,000, 
local number two bricklayer shenanigans gentlemen's club and ryan clark realty our main event is sanctioned by the united states Muay Thai association executive director ed kinner and usmta president clint taylor in attendance the judges for this championship fight are mr are Mr. Nels Larson, Ms. Danielle Walzer, and Chris Polinski. The fight doctor at cage side is Dr. Michael Sheridan and controlling the action at the sound of the bell, your referee, Dan Mergliata. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He has a record of one win, three losses, representing Manos Duras 4-0, representing Manos Duras Mixed Martial Arts, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Miles. And standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, he has an undefeated fight record, six wins, Zero losses, representing Strike Zone, Mixed Martial Arts from Norwich, Connecticut, Jeremy Wolfo. Nice little travel out here to beat somebody up. Absolutely. Again, if you notice, he's not paying any attention to Chris Miles. He's just focused on his corner. No, he doesn't care about that. He here does, we go. But I'm saying it's his routine every time. They're going to meet in the center. They're agreeing upon it now. Here we go. Chris Miles better keep those hands up, I will say that. Two elite wrestlers. Jeremy Wolfhorst got power in that right hand. Now, we notice here, Chris Miles is a southpaw. Let's see how that plays. Yeah, it might switch everything up for Wolfhorst here. You know, let's see if Wolfhorst is used to having some, some southpaw training partners. If you notice, he's, he's chasing him with that right hand, though. Mm. Nice job nice, defending. Nice work here, guys. Good job by Chris Miles being willing to engage in the pocket. Yeah, he's not afraid. Nice job. Kick to the punch. You know, these heavyweights are showing us more than the lighter ones. Yeah. I tell you what, Chris Chris really is up for the challenge. Absolutely. Doing a nice job pressuring Jeremy against Cage. Using head pressure, trying to get lower. Again, this, Jeremy's used to being here, though, being that wrestler. Now, what can Chris do with this position? That's going to be the key. He's just got to keep controlling. Don't Jer blow your load. Keep controlling the fight. I mean, Jeremy's doing a really, really nice job of defending oh. those punches. Oh. Chris doing a nice job over under. Jeremy now using his head trying to be the low man. Over halfway through this, round number one. Nice knee to the thigh by Wolf Fork and separation. I like about Chris just gets off the cage. He doesn't rest there. Most guys will find a way to rest there. I wouldn't chase Wolf Fork. Wolf Fork looks, looks calm, though. He's not worried about much. That's something I wouldn't chase him, you know. Hunt him down, but don't chase. Coming up on one minute. Both these guys use their head very well. Again, coming from that wrestling pedigree. That's a good knee there, he landed. This is it though, this is, we wanna talk about cage control, there it is, you just oh. throw him up against the cage. You need him in the balls, or need him in the junk. No, it was a mouthpiece, it was a mouthpiece for that oh, one, he okay. got hit, yep. Yeah. You know, Jeremy's kinda of grabbing that right leg, I, I wonder if that knee hurt. I think, I think he got him in the... In that right, in the right quad. He was kind of grabbing it. He's favoring it a little bit. You notice kick that? It. Throw that big kick right I to that I don't leg. think Chris notices it yet. Hey, nice. There's one. Hey, there's another one. Wolf Fork acknowledges it. He says, okay. Oh! Oh, oh is that it? That's it. Oh, that's it right there. That's, that's it. it. Big Dan stops it. That's it. That's it. Not really sure what that was about, but there's a little bit of talking afterwards from Jeremy, which is very uh, not like him. 
you know, I think he he took that cheap shot as a uh, as something personal. I think he got hit in the in the nuts. I think he, he took a knee to the nuts. Let's see if the replay shows us anything here. Big Dan talking to Jeremy. Now Jeremy back to kind of smiling, you know. Something's going on over there. Yeah, we have something going on, but uh, let's focus on the uh, on the fighters in the ring. We're gonna let security handle whatever's going on over there. Into the ring announcer, Mike Falva, when he's ready. We're gonna make sure that Chris Miles is okay. They're bringing a, a stool in for him. Mervin, I'm kind of amped up. I feel you and I should go over there and see what's going on. Yeah, it's all right. I think they're gonna let I'm saying the fight's it. got me amped up. Oh, yeah. He, I, I think he took I'm almost positive. There it is, right here. Here's a replay. He eats, he eats a right hand. There oh, it left is. Hand. Left hand. Sorry. And again, yeah. Oh, that's a problem when you're backing up and you get hit. I mean, your balance is off. You're, it's easy. It's easy to hit that knockout spot. He landed that big left hand and put him down. Still trying to figure out what's going on. Up to the cage. Referee Dan Mergliata's called a stop to the fight at two minutes, 41 seconds into the first round. For your winner, out of the red corner, Jeremy Wolfork. And Jeremy Wolfork, a Cage Wars heavyweight champion, retains his title. Chris Miles did a nice job, but just uh, like any time in a mixed martial arts match, you can get caught at any given second, and Wolfork has lightning in those hands. Tickets for Page Wars 44 go on sale 